Let's ask, okay, what kind of calling is Paul talking about here? And Paul says he was called by the will of God. So this is not something he's taking credit for. This is something God did in his life, which seems to square with how Paul talks about calling later. It's not because you were wise or powerful or noble. You weren't any of those things, but God called you by his will. And Paul says, he called me by his will to be an apostle. Now, we don't have time to camp out here today, but we could spend a while if we wanted, maybe go to the index in the back of our Bibles, look at the way the word apostle is used in different places. And if we did that, we would find that Paul is referring to a a special call of God in his life as an eyewitness of Jesus to establish the church in the first century, along with the other apostles who were disciples of Jesus when he was alive. So this is something that God called Paul to do and be that he didn't call every Christian to do and be in the same way. And that's different from how he's about to talk about calling in verse 2. But before we jump to that, let me just pause here and point out how encouraging I think it is to hear Paul describe his life in relation to what God has called him to do. Like That's how he understands his life. And I just want to encourage you to look at your life in the same way. Like, See yourself in this passage as called by God. Not necessarily in the exact same way as Paul here, but on a variety of levels, God has called some of us at this moment to singleness, others of us at this moment to marriage. Regardless, these callings are not accidents. God is leading our lives. Think about your work. It is not an accident that you are a teacher or a politician, or a student, or an engineer, or a contractor, which I've learned is code around here for all kinds of secret jobs. And (laughs) no one else may know what your job is, but God does because he's the one who called you to it. So see your life in relation to God. Like put your name in here. Like you are Susan, called by the will of God to work in government for the glory of Jesus. You are Scott, called by the will of God to start a company overseas for the glory of Jesus. You are Doug, called by the will of God to fly planes around the world for the glory of Jesus. You are Tammy, called by the will of God to be a homemaker right here for the glory of Jesus. Whoever you are, find security in the reality that God himself is leading your life. 